my previous video we came back home uh, we are in friendship era so you see our beautiful village just behind and uh, all this week we was working and in the evenings I was doing the new video about Vernaza and uh, this video is ready now so let's roll the clip Okay, good morning everyone, um, we are in Manarola now, yesterday we spent all day here, so today we're gonna take a train and we will go to visit the Varanza, the small village, actually uh, this is also the, the village of Cinque Terre, one, two, three, four, five, you see, but here we've been last time and there are not so much to see, as we remember, so we're gonna go to Varenza today and then we will take a Cornelia and then the last one would be Rio Maggiore and then we're gonna go back where is our apartment is in Manarola. Okay, let's go! We came by train and uh, I really recommend you to take a Cinque Terre train card with unlimited train travel and uh, you can take this card for one, two or three days. You can buy it in every train station or uh, at the tourist information points in Cinque Terre. So and here we are in Vernaza. The small fishing village Vernaza reminds one of the truest fishing villages on the Italian Riviera. We came early morning and uh, we saw how fishermen putting their boats on the um, on the water quite a hard work the main source of uh, uh, revenue for uh, Vernaza is the tourism today however um, there are lots of fishermen boats everywhere and in this morning we was watching uh, lots of fishermen was working on the sea and you feel like a spirit of this village i so loved it we are in the main square uh, piazza macroni and uh, we are looking for a place to take a coffee as we came early morning but not only us there are already lots of tourists this is the orange juice which is not orange <laughs> oh, my so yeah, it was the orange juice and uh, it's served with the uh, sugar 
and the coffee oh my god the coffee in Italy is just delicious We saw this uh, tourist boat with uh, just a few tourists. Actually, the ideal way to arrive to this breathtaking village is by sea. So you can visit all these five villages of Cinque Terre by boat or by train like us. So there are a few things to see uh, in this village. The first one um, is this charming piazza where we took our coffee. The second one is the medieval castle where we go right now. So this medieval castle, uh, Belfort, was built in the mid 15th century, primarily to protect the village from pirates. My son just loved this story about the pirates so he was so inspired to climb up all these stairs to see the castle so and here we are in the very top where the entrance is actually we met lots of people going down and lots of people waiting their tickets uh, yes, it was, uh, I don't really remember, it was about 5 euro per person and um, here we are, we are in the very very top of the village and uh, from here you have just a beautiful view. Look at that enormous lineman on the table. Can you imagine to have a terrace like this? I can't imagine. I will call this place more like a viewpoint. So you have a panoramic view. Um, you can see the village, the old coast. And even there was lots of people, um, we didn't feel it, you just enjoy the view. Now we go down back to the main square, uh, you will not see lots of hotels here, there are, there are not so many, uh, mostly it's apartments or guest houses hidden on this beautiful narrow streets of the old town. Vernaza is one of the most photographed towns. Of course, with this beautiful piazza right on the small beach and uh, a small harbor framed by the little Dom church where we go next and uh, the ruins of the castle tower where we've been right now. It's truly one of the most beautiful villages on the Italian Riviera.
You definitely will agree with me that in Cinque Terre you have to try a seafood. You just have to put it on your list. So we found some fish and chips takeaway and we decided to eat with a view. There are lots of street food in the Cinque Terre, so um, you can save your budget easily with the really fantastic fresh food takeaway. And moreover, you eat really with a good view. I remember we were swimming here. <laughs> There's lots of people here around on the rocks. Everybody was swimming. So now it's April, it's not the same. Last time we've been, it was, when we've been it was August. Middle of the August. It's super season. You can see from here the tower of the castle, it's right there. We visited quite all Vernaza and now we go to the next village, Cornelia. But before we take another train, we just have to take some gelato from here. Gelato means frozen in Italian. But uh, gelato is served uh, 10 to 15 degrees warmer than ice cream. That's why it's literally melts in your mouth. I have lost count how many gelato we tried in our trip already. I think everybody loves gelato. We are in our way to uh, Cornelia. There is uh, a little more than 370 stairs which will take you uh, from the train station to the town, uh, which is located 100 meters above uh, sea level. So this town is without access um, to the sea, without any port and we went straight away to the viewpoint. Cornelia is the smallest uh, village of the Cinque Terre and yes, uh, here is no beach but you still can find some place to swim outside the village on the rocks. We are in the main street uh, right now so this you can walk uh, all this street in 10 minutes and um, we arrived in the main square and you will find here uh, the church. It is in a Baroque style with some Gothic elements dating back to 14th century. Let's go inside.
here in Cornelia we saw a lot of lemons and we learned that uh, the town was isolated for many centuries and they have, that's why they have their own uh, variety of lemon. Even if it was very hot day in Cornelia, uh, it was very fresh and uh, there was so many nice bars and restaurants to take a fresh drink. So we found one, a very lovely place. Another thing to do in Cornelia is shopping. There are lots of souvenir shops and uh, we found these uh, numbers. Uh, actually our house, uh, we bought it two years ago, as you, uh, if you follow my previous uh, videos. So, and our house still have no number and uh, every time when we order something online, the poor deliver man never know um, how to find our house and um, yeah finally I think we found our numbers <laughs> so I guess it's approved by all uh, family members and we're gonna take it the best souvenir And here our last stop, Eria Maggiore, the last village of the Cinque Terre. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, film so much because it was very windy and um, we was hiding inside the village and um, we did some shopping again and um, I think so I guess I will let you explore uh, Rio Maggiore on your own. Now we are going back to the train station. We're gonna go back to Manarola. Uh, I hope you already checked my uh, video, previous video from Manarola. So please put your comments below. Uh, on my videos from Cinque Terre, share your experience with us and um, I'll see you soon. Je vous dis à bientôt.